Hello everyone and welcome to Steno 24-7. This is case number 25, two boys, 1,293 words on the subject of head injury at 210 words per minute. Ready? Let's write. Question, you are Dr. Henry H. Morrison. Answer, yes. Question, and was your office at the same address during all of 2003 and 2004? Answer, yes. Question, do you know the plaintiff in this case, Mary Williams? Answer, yes. Question, you had her as a patient at one time. Did you? Answer, yes. Question, do you know when she first became your patient? Answer, the date is there on the evidence. Question, you do not remember, I suppose offhand. You need to consult your records. Answer, I think it was about November 17, 2003. Question, doctor, when you stated that it was November 17, I believe you looked at a letter dated February 1st addressed by you to to whom it may concern answer yes question stated that you treated the plaintiff on November 17th do you have any office record that you made at the time she came in answer this is a concise report of my office records question did you bring the office record with you answer no question nothing as to your daily records of patients treated answer no not as far as the individual treatments question is the entire record you brought with you with respect to her treatments the letter dated February 1st addressed to whom it may concern answer yes Yes, that is it. Question, and no other record? Answer, that is it. Question, do you keep any other records of patients? Answer, yes, I have other records in my daily diary. Question, do you keep records of all patients treated in a daily diary? Answer, yes. Question, and do you still have records as to the patients treated? In November 2003, answer, yes. Question, in your office diary? Answer, yes. Question, and, I stu and you still have that diary, I presume? Answer, in the office. Question, what do you show with respect to patients treated? What do you show in your diary with respect to patients treated? Answer, I show the diagnosis and the type of treatment, the amount paid or charged and so forth question your diary isn't just a reminder to you to make calls on certain persons i presume is it answer well it is that with the complete record of all that transpired question then you would say that your diary isn't only a reminder of the patients you are to call on but also contains data as to the diagnosis and the treatment given answer yes question is that true answer yes question you would still have the diary showing the treatments given to mary williams in november of 2003 answer yes question that is at your office is it answer it is question did you look at your diary since you were served with the subpoena in this case answer yes i looked at it last night question and do you remember what your diary entries for november 2003 concerning the plaintiff were answer yes i remember the diagnosis symptoms and treatment that was given and the amount charged but nothing collected i received about a thousand promises of collection but never received a penny as yet for it question now doctor do you have any independent recollection of having treated mary williams answer what do you mean independent of my records question yes answer yes question do you remember her distinctly do you aside from any information you get from your records answer why sure question do you remember whether you called on her at her home or other place or whether she called on you at your office for the first treatment answer i called at her home Question, that was for which? The first treatment you gave her? Answer, the first treatment. Question, do you remember where her home was at that time? Answer, I think it is 5171 or 5173 Michigan Avenue. It is on the statement there. Question, what did you find with respect to Mrs. Williams at that time? Answer, you mean as to her injuries? Question, yes. Answer, well, the objective findings, all that I could see, was a large hematoma in the occipital region of the head. Question, no other injuries objectively found? Answer, that was the only objective that I could find. Question, did you make a thorough examination of her? at the time answer yes question were there any abrasions about the head answer well naturally there were some abrasions over that injured area question what did your treatment consist of answer it consisted of sedation something for the pain and compression bandage ice packed to the head and accepted question and did you treat her on more than the one occasion on which you called at her home answer yes i did question do you remember how many additional times answer i treated her four times independent of the first visit i made five altogether question and at what interval did you make your calls on her or she made calls on you answer well for about the first three visits i saw her daily and then it would be about once or twice a week as the case subsided my calls were less frequent question did you call on her at home each of the times when you treated her answer yes question she made no office calls on you i presume answer she then she made office calls i worried a lot of times with her question how many office calls did she make on you all together answer i didn't keep any record of those calls because she just dropped in numerous times most of those were consultations question did you treat her for anything other than a head injury answer yes question did you render her a bill for services answer yes question and do you recall the amount of the bill answer the bill was 17 dollars question pardon me answer the bill was 17 dollars just a matter of form i knew i wouldn't get that anyway she promised to pay me the first day I treated her. 
question do you remember when or the approximate time of her last call upon you answer the last call she made upon me was just a consultation it was around in july in 2004 question and at what time did you make objective findings with respect to head injuries answer no I told her I didn't want to be bothered with the case anymore because her promises all proved to be lies. I ordered an x-ray of her skull to see if there was any injury and they wanted me to pay for it and I wouldn't do it. And I told them I was through with it. Question, when was the x-ray ordered? Answer, at the time of the first visit. Question, was an x-ray made? Answer, not to my knowledge because they kept asking me to have it made and wanted me to pay for it and I refused. Question, you found, I presume, no evidence of fractures? Answer, no. Question, were there any complaints by the patient? Answer, oh, there were plenty of complaints. Question, what were her complaints say on the first time you visited her? Answer, she complained of nausea and vomiting, fever and chills and anorexia, loss of appetite. Question, doctor, have you an opinion as to whether the condition as to loss of appetite and nausea could or might have been caused by the head injuries which you found she had sustained? Answer, they could have. Yes. Question, do you consider it probable that such complaints as to loss loss of appetite and nausea were caused by the head injury answer just consider it probable question yes answer well I can't say all I can say is possible because an individual like that you can't put much confidence in what they say question how old of a woman did Mrs. Williams appear to be answer she appeared to be around 46 or 47 question did she appear to be in good health aside from the injury she may have sustained answer yes question has par any part of your bill been paid Answer, not the first penny. Question, have you seen her at any time since July of 2004? Answer, no. Question, doctor, do you know whether she has been seen by any other physician after you released her? Answer, no. I don't know.